Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And on this video, we're going to continue with the funnel editor page and we're going to go into our publishing. But before we do that, let's go to an order form because it gives us one additional tab for the products within our order form. And just to let you know, there will be separate videos for automation and for products. So let's just jump into our publishing tab. And here again, we have our funnel step name. And so we can change that again. Let's just change that to XYZ as well. And then we will wipe out the path and we will just click on update the funnel and it'll update the path name for us. So as you can see, the funnel step name has been updated here and here and here as well. And so next item up for bids here is our digital table rush. You've probably all seen it before. This little box will pop up down here in the lower left-hand corner, letting you know some of the people who had purchased the product in the last, I'm not really sure what time period, in the last day or two or so. And so you could turn that on right here with a simple click, and that will pop pop up down in the bottom left hand corner then. As far as the rest of this page goes, let me see here. We got our click pop code. I'm going to shoot a separate video on that. The WordPress plugin, I already had a video for that shot in the account settings section above. And so let's take a look at our click opt-in link. And I've never actually used this myself. I've heard how it works. Basically what you want to do is give somebody this link right here. And when they put that into an email, what happens is somebody will come in, they'll click on that link. And when they get to your page, they'll be automatically opted into your funnel. You don't have to have a squeeze page. You don't have to have an opt-in form. This does it all for you. Just automatically opts them into the funnel. Like I said, I've not used it myself, but you might want to play around with it and check out ClickFunnels docs if you have any questions on that one. You can also add this funnel to your Facebook account by just coming into your account. You click on your Facebook pages, you pick out the page you want, and then you click add page tab and it will automatically connect this funnel with your Facebook account. Back on the publishing tab, we can also click on embed code which will give us an iframe right here that you can put into any website, into any blog, anything else. You put that in and it will make this page or this funnel into an iframe that'll open up inside of any other website. It's very similar to what you can also do with the WordPress plugin. So you have two places now where you can take your funnel and inject them into either WordPress or another type of website. So we'll close that one out. And the last one is here, you can download HTML. It'll actually take your entire funnel and download it as HTML pages, which are regular website pages. And it'll create an account for you and it'll drop it down here and you can use it yourself or give it to a programmer and have them basically completely recreate your ClickFunnels account on a static HTML page. So our last option on this page is our text opt-ins. Again, I've never used this, but apparently if somebody wants to uh, opt into your page through a text messenger, they can do one of those, you know, text XYZ to one, two, three, four, five, and it'll automatically opt them in. So again, with this one here, go check out the ClickFunnels support if you have any other questions on that. So that's it for the publishing page. In our next video, we're going to jump over here into the funnel steps and work on getting this all set up as well. So if you have any questions on this, reach out to ClickFunnels support and I'll see you in the next video.